What's going on everybody, 7 up 7 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. Uh, in this video we're going to be able to continue with the story now, because in the last one we defeated the boss and beat the dungeon, and now we can, uh, oh, and we got the uh, Moonshadow Harp finally, which was our ultimate goal. So now we can head back to Trodane to go back to Moonshadow Land to give it back to Ishmari. So of course you want to make sure that it is at night time, that's why I was here in Fairbury, a nice cheap place to rest until evening. So obviously we can just choose that option. And uh, Fairbury is by far the cheapest place to do so. Because I don't think you can do that at Hilltop Hut or any of the other places, so... Um, yeah, back here in Trodane, we can go through our little side entrance over here. Which is right around here. And we don't have to do any waiting or anything this time, because the door is still here from last time. So we'll just open that and head on through to Moonshadow Land. Let's go see how Ishmari's doing without his magic harp. Hopefully he's not crying in a corner. Ah, hello. I have witnessed the passing of many moons. But never before have I felt time pass so slowly. I see the outcome of your quest from the brightness in your eyes. You have retrieved the moon shadow heart. Please show it to me. The mighty instrument that will rouse the memory of the ocean. Whoa. It's a pretty sick harp, bro. This harp has traveled far, just as you have. I did not imagine it would ever find its way into my hands again. Now, let us attend to the task at hand. Is this harp, like, better than the one he had before? I don't know. Let us go to the ship. Music will awaken it from its slumber. And set it sailing oh, yes. once more. Alright. You can save that for the ship. I don't need that. And fortunately, we do not have to do any actual traveling of our own back to the desert, because that's kind of an annoying little trip out to the ship. Where is... Oh, there he is. Why is everyone so confused? What's going on? Oh, How they did just we appeared there. This ship, the Moonshadow Harp, and myself, we are all the same. We are all from the old world. Everything's connected, man. I must thank you for reuniting us ancient ones. Whoa. Now, come. Come to me, times past. Come to me, ancient ocean. Return once more. Oh my god, it's happening. Uh, uh, is this Art Daffano? No. Can it really be beyond even the moon shadow harp? Oh, uh, what but have you wait. Found? Yes, my dear. Forgive my ignorance. At first I saw only a horse. But now I see that you are truly a noble princess. Of course. 
Magic begins with a word. Music begins with a voice. The beautiful voice of this cursed princess is all this great instrument needs Are to play its music. Are you gonna make the horse music. sing? Princess, please come to my aid. He's gonna make the sing horse with sing. Me. Somehow I really don't think that Medea is making that sound right now. But it is a lovely song. Oh my god. Uh... Well, there goes the ship. Oh my god, I can't wait. This is where this game really gets amazing. Just complete freedom to explore. Ishmari is the man right now. Seems like that would be incredibly difficult for Medea to get up those stairs. Alright. The magical stairway will close behind us. And we are on our boat now. Now it is time for us to part. I will sing to bless your journey on the ancient ocean. We can't hear you, children. Ishmari. We're all the way up there. Such a crazy looking ship, too. Also, who is doing this rowing? It's a very good question. Love a duck, stone the crows, blimey O'Reilly! What the hell happened what, back what there? What are you even saying, Yingus? Your ridiculous blithering! This is all, all thanks right, to my calm precious your Medea. Tits, Strode. Yeah, well, at least we've got the boat up and running now, eh, hey, Gov? Nice. Don't you think it's a bit early to be congratulating ourselves? We still have a lot to do, like going after Dolmagus, remember? Jeez, Jessica. That's why we went to so much effort to get the ship be in the first place. Happy about something. Well, if Dulmagus has left the eastern continent, I say we head for the west and see if oh, we can't really? catch up with him there. We should go... Right then, it's decided! We sail for the west! Get to it! We should go to the other of the two continents that there are. What a brilliant idea, Angelo. I really don't know what I would do without you. Okay. So now that we have the ship, we have a whole new element to the game. I don't think the cutscenes are over. Oh yeah, well, the water has to return to normal. I forgot we weren't actually in the ocean yet. So how is there like another ocean underneath this one? It's 
kind of bizarre. Okay. Uh, well now we're like in the real ocean and somehow this other water didn't drown everyone in the world. I don't know. Can I please sail now? I am still not controlling this. <laughs> Yeah, so we can disembark anywhere where there is appropriate land. And now we finally can sail around on the high seas. And uh, there's tons of places we can go now. Um, so we're probably not going to head straight to any particular uh, part of the story just yet. So, it seems the best choice would be to go just straight for this island. We got a battle already. A uh, lot of enemies, but this should be a fairly easy one, I hope. I don't think any of these guys are particularly strong. <laughs> no, not even a little bit. He's the best one of the bunch. Can you just hit him, please? Thank you. Finally did something useful this ep episode. Okay. So now we will disembark on this little island. Seems the easiest course of action. So, as you saw, uh, when you're in the ship, you can... You will still have random battles. You'll just have different enemies, and they vary depending on what part of the ocean that you're in. And uh, you also, c the alchemy pot will run while you're sailing. Okay, so now we can head towards the castle. And this will be a place that we come back and visit a few times during this game. Uh, and you'll find out why in just a minute. It'll answer a question you might have had throughout the course of our playthrough so far of some items we've been getting, which you might already figure out by looking around. Well, hey, little guy. How can you talk? Okay. Alright, so... The, hmm. Is it you? I think it might be him. Nah, let's not talk to you yet. Alright, so... There's a few things in here. This over here, I believe, is an item shop. Oh, you motherfucker. I want to kill you in place of him. You fucking asshole. I hate your brother. I want him to die. Well, anyway, this asshole's running the item shop. I'm gonna go ahead and stock up on medicinal herbs and whatnot for mixes while I'm here. Okay, so I'm fully stocked up on, uh... Stuff for mixing special medicines. So we'll just come through here and get another mini metal. Obviously those are going to be coming in handy here in a minute. And I believe we should have 34 of them at this point. I haven't actually checked, but that should be the number. So let's see what's going on in here. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's clearly what he said. 
That's gross. Don't what say did he such say? things, father. I'm simply delighted to carry out my royal duties. Don't you fret one little bit. You just make sure you rest and get Such back into tip-top shape. Ooh, I would not sprouted. be that excited about random people showing up in a bedroom in my castle. If one to assume you brought some of those wonderful well, shiny teeny weeny mini medals. Of course I brought them. You have? Oh, how absolutely delightful. At last, one will be able to do one's Your bit voice for the needs family. To stop. May one suggest that we move downstairs? We can have a lovely little chat down there. Please excuse us, father. Please excuse us, father. You wouldn't want to bother the old geezer. All right. So, we're, there's nothing else we can really get in here right now, unfortunately, so we can just go ahead and head down here and talk to Princess Minnie again. So, she likes to collect all these medals that we've been getting throughout the course of the game already, and uh, we can get a bunch of cool stuff from her for trading them in. So, right now we do have 34. So the first prize we get is at 28. And yeah, so we need only two more to get the next item, which I think is a decent armor set for Angelo. But uh, we can't get that quite yet, but we'll be able to very soon. Now we have all the items for this. <laughs> Another one of Jessica's fantastic outfits. So, I don't know, I'm probably not going to keep it that way. And I'm certainly not going to play as Jessica, but, you know, just for your benefit, there's another outfit that she has now. It's just the, I mean, I'm sure you can guess, the bunny suit we already had and the bunny ears both already on her, and we just got those. So that's another outfit of, like, the eight outfits that she has, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I did put the Mighty Armlet back on Jessica, and now we're going to head back out and get one last item that we can get around this area, and move on from there. So we're actually going to go around the northern part of the castle, and uh, just a heads up, if you look on the map, if you ever get lost, you do have to make it back to your ship to be able to board it, obviously. So that's what the icon looks like on your map. And Minnie's Castle is actually a really good place now that it's on our zoom list. It's a really good place to just warp back to if your ship is really far away from where you are and you need to get back to it quickly. Um, obviously it's not going to be that helpful if you're all the way on the other side of the world. But Alright, and right up here, not very hard to find as this is a very tiny island. There's a cow up here, so that obviously means we can get some fresh milk. Always good for mixes and whatnot. And then in the treasure chest, we get the 35th mini medal. So we're just one away from that posh waistcoat prize. And now we're actually going to go ahead and warp back, because we have Princess Minnie's castle on our list now. We're going to warp to Fairbury and do something real quick to make a little bit of money. And one quick thing you can do while you're here is to go to the weapon shop and buy a couple of boomerangs if you don't have any. Uh, because we can make some mixes out of them pretty soon. I have just one, so I'm going to grab another one. Alright, and you do want to go out from the side door, not the one by the end. Sorry, I said that backwards. You don't want to go out the side door, you want to go out the main door, not the one by the end. And we're going to head to the waterfall cave. Uh, and go just behind it to the right, so I'll just pick it up from there. Alright, so here from the Waterfall Cave, we'll turn to the right, of course, to head behind it. Because we're going to go back to that guy's house that we visited way early on, before we even went through the first dungeon, of course, being the Waterfall Cave. 
and uh, we got his bag for him from the red tree nearby. We're gonna head back to his house because he actually has some more goodies for us at this point in the game. And uh, he, what he gave us last time was just some plain cheese, and it was pretty good money. For the point of the game we were in, it was pretty good money at the time, uh, and this is gonna be no different for this point in the game for what he gives us. I may save a little bit of it just in case I want to make a mix, but most, pretty much the rest of it you can just sell. So he seems to be pretty forgetful, but he does sort of recognize us, so just tell him we've been here before. Doesn't matter. He has too much stuff. So now he's going to give us some stuff. All kinds of different cheeses, except these are worth a whole lot more money. Yep, you mentioned that. Still a complete waste to feed those to Bunchy, because they're worth so much money, and it does almost nothing during battle. So we're not going to waste it on that. Alright, so lastly, we're just gonna... That's pretty much the only thing we wanted to do, so we're just gonna zoom right back to Princess Minnie's castle so we can get back on the ship. And we're actually just gonna pick it up from here in the next video and get back to sailing, so I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.